It's time to scavenge around the garage or basement or maybe the junk drawer for old washers, keys, nails, nuts and bolts because we're gonna make a robot tile. We're actually gonna do a two part process where we're gonna make a mold and then we're gonna cast it. So here's what you'll need. Uh, we're gonna start with your hardware, which like I said, your nuts and bolts, and then you'll need a piece of felt for later, sandpaper or a scrubby pad like this, some tacky glue, blue gel glue, some acrylic paint, your mold making material, and your casting compound. You'll also need a container that fits your robot. So let's first assemble our robot. I've got my little pieces and parts here, and you can kind of see I've been working on this one right out here in the front. But all you're gonna do is glue your pieces on top. And this is not a permanent hold. I'm just using this thick glue because when it dries, it holds your pieces really well so you can cast them. So you're just gonna stack and assemble your parts like this one I have here. You can see I have some screws. I did some little wrenches for the arms, some other little eye screws for the eyes, and anything goes. The next thing you need to do is make sure that this robot body fits your container for your mold. And you wanna leave a little bit of space around the edge so he sits down in. So let's start making a mold. I've gone ahead and measured out my mold making powder. But the next thing I need to do is add some cool water. And you'll wanna read the manufacturer's instructions for this because you can make your mold so it has different strengths. Um, you can have a really flimsy mold or a really strong mold. I'm doing the one to one ratio. And as soon as you start mixing, you have about 30 seconds to mix up your mold making material. I'm gonna add a little bit more water. And once you have this all mixed up, don't worry if you have a few lumps, you just wanna make sure you don't have any big lumps. You're gonna dump it into your container and you'll have your mold ready to go. I've got one that I've been working on here. Once you press your pieces into place, you'll have something that looks almost like this. I've already started working on this one and pulling out my pieces, but you can see this mold is super flexible and you can reuse it. So let's start pulling out our pieces. This one, actually, once you push your pieces in, it only takes like 30 minutes for your pieces to actually set up and you can start using your mold, which we'll do in a minute. So you've got your flexible, reusable mold. Now we're going to make the casting material. So for this, we're gonna add a little bit more water and you just need a little bit of water. In the, in the instructions, it tells you exactly how much and it, you just mix this up. It's almost like making a cake to where it's pretty smooth. I wanna get out a little bit more of those lumps. I'm gonna add a little bit more water. And, whoops, I'm getting messy over here, having too much fun. <laughs> okay, so now it's nice and smooth and you can dump this into your mold. And this is where you might need a spatula. I'm guessing that you'll have a grown-up helping you with this project. And then you can kind of just smooth this around to the edges of your tile. Like that. And you can just have that go out to the edges. And then you're going to want to leave that for another 30 minutes to an hour while it sets up. The next thing that'll happen is you can actually take your mold and flex it and pop out a piece just like this. And this one, I've actually gone ahead and started base coating, but when you get yours out, it's actually this whitish color on the, um, on the original. But actually, I already base coated this tan so that we could jump into staining it. You could leave it like that, but I've um, been staining mine blue. And how you do that is you just water down some blue acrylic paint like I have here, and then you just start letting that run into all the cracks and crevices of your robot. And that's what makes it look so neat and highlights all your little pieces and parts. So when you finish, you'll have something like this, and then you can go over it with a second color, like green, and you can rub some away with your 
paper towel to keep it all nice. And when you're finished with your painting, you can back it with a piece of felt. And all I did, whoops, is trace around a piece of felt and cut it to fit. And then you're gonna use your tacky glue to glue on the backing all the way out to the edges and glue that down. And then to make it look almost like it's ceramic, you can add, whoops, um, a little bit of this blue clear gel over top to make it look like glass. And that is how you make a hardware robot tile.